everyone. So in this demonstration, I'm gonna go over the supplies and also how to make this bird, which is gonna be our demonstration today. It's a type of folkloric bird and it's going to be a demonstration about uh, the gouache paints on black paper. So now that you've taken a good look at this beautiful bird, I'm gonna set it aside and I'm gonna go over the supplies that we need for this class. So the first things you'll need are some brushes. Um, if you only have one, that's fine, but if you have different kinds, that's also okay. Um, it's useful, a round or flat brush. This is a filbert. Um, some smaller brushes for detail. Um, or whatever you have, even if you just have one round, that's fine. Um, we're gonna use water, some cold water. You can get a towel to blot your paintbrush on or Bounty, sometimes I use that as well. Um, then the next thing we'll need um, is a place to set your paints in. I've prepared some paints or many paints here and um, you can just use as many colors as you feel comfortable. It doesn't have to be the exact same bird that I paint, but you can, use this as a demonstration to paint your own. And um, the gouache paints look like this. They come in a tube and um, I can show you how they look when they come out. Um, for instance, this is crimson red and as it comes out, it's this beautiful vibrant red. And um, I took out the whole gamut of colors here just to show you. So it's type of rainbow colors here. So purple, blue, green, yellow, orange, red. I definitely need white because I'm going to use the white as a base as I instructed in our techniques section. And um, I really like this color which is a yellow ochre and a bunch of other colors. There's greens. This is also another brand. Um, this is Cotman and Windsor and & Newton. You can get it at um, I believe Michael's or any art store that you have near you. Um, this brand Artist Loft is sold at Michael's. So. And um, that is some of what we have here going on. And this is a, a palette for your paints. So we're gonna use that to um, dab our paintbrush in. And so let me set that on this side and maybe put my paintbrushes on this side. And then just show you that we need a piece of paper that's black paper. You can also get this at Michael's, um, either a watercolor type paper or something similar. I use this type of cardstock and it's similar to watercolor paper, um, but watercolor paper is definitely best. So that's what we have here. Mine is a square and um, now let's begin and draw this pretty bird. Hi everyone. So now I'm gonna start by dabbing my um, paintbrush in the cold water and I'm gonna use the white paint first. So I'm gonna need some um, water on my paints to um, make the liquid become uh, immersed with the paint and that'll loosen it up a little bit. And I'm gonna use this as a type of base to, uh, for my painting. And I'm going to make the head of the bird first. And I'm not gonna make this bird as big as the one on the previous um, paper that I used because um, I wanna make my uh, demonstration not too long, but I just want you to get an idea of how to, you know, um, prepare your painting and um, you can decorate it the way you want. So this will be the head. And then I'm going to use a little more for the beak here. And I am going to make a neck. And for the neck, I'm gonna do this. And I'm gonna fill this in with more white paint. It's good to use a layer to layer your paints and then to let them dry in between the applications of your next layer because uh, that's the way um, gouache paints work. The paints need to dry in between layers and we're using a layering technique here to start off with. So this is the body of the bird. As you can see, this is a very round bird with shapes that I'm connecting and um, I've made sure that these shapes are going to be 
united and that the paint will connect inside the shapes. And I'm going to use this, the white, as the base so that it can, not that it, I don't want it to show through on the next layer really, but it's going to bring out the gouache paints a little more. And that way when you use it on the black paper, you can, you can see the colors come out a little more and they'll be more um, vibrant. And I'm also going to place um, the tail of the bird, which is what I'm going to do next. And for the tail of the bird, I'm going to make it go down here a little bit in a type of fan shape. I want it to be pretty looking, almost like a peacock. And But the tail of a peacock fans out, so this is just going to be not exactly a fan, but a closed fan, I guess I would call it. So you can embellish this the way you want. Um, you can either use lines or dots or just use the colors and layer them on top of the white paint. As you can see here, I need a little bit more water because it gets kind of clumpy otherwise. And that's not what we want. We want it to be spread out, the paint, so that it doesn't look uneven. The paints will be pushed along as well by the water and it aids them to go on the paper nicely. So that is the tail of the bird. This is the head. And I want to include one wing. So for the wing, I'm just gonna make a smaller wing like this. That's just the outline. And I'm going to make sure that it goes like this. And as you can see, that's the feathers on the wing. To make this a little better and some of the colors I'm going to use are going to be purple, um, red, yellow and maybe blue and orange and for the leaves and the fruits and the berries as I showed you in the beginning um, on the other painting I'm going to use green, uh, yellow ochre or you know a type of brown and I'm also going to use um, maybe two shades of green and maybe some of the red. So that would cover what I'm going to use. And now I'm just going to make sure that I let this dry in between applications of the next layer. So this is the wing as we went over. This is what the bird will look like. Now, I also need one little more part of this, which is the um, for the feet of the bird. So I'm going to include one little thing here and one other little mound here for the feet. So this is the white part of the painting. Now I'm going to wet, let this dry. It dries rather quickly as well, so you don't have to wait too long. And then I'm going to start by applying um, the outlines and um, the colors that I want to use on this bird. So I think I'm going to start by doing the bird's um, red outline. That way I can just place, you know, the um, paints in the center of that outline. So I'm going to make the bird have a red outline. And I'm just going to go around the bird and um, define its um, look its shape a little better with the red. Now I could use a little more water there and I'm just going to do that slowly and carefully. It takes a little time to master this, um, this type of painting, but um, I consider it to be a type of folkloric painting because of the colors and the style that I use on it. So I'm going to speed this up at this point so that you can see what I do. And um, so I'm not going to be talking for the rest of this demo until the end of the demo where I come back and I give you a short conclusion as to what we've done. So here we go.
So hi everyone, I'm back and I just want to put the finishing touches on the berries here. I'm just putting a little center dots on them to give them a little bit of, um, you know, a little more depth. So as you can see here, uh, the bird is done and it's dry and now I'm just waiting for the leaves to get dry as well. Now I can add a little more over here maybe, but it might overdo it. So empower, you know, the bird a little too much, but maybe just a few little finishing touches might be nice. And um, I just wanted to demonstrate um, how you can apply the paint in layers and then um, you can also wait till they dry the layers and then add more of another color on top of the white layer for the base. And that's how I would go about, you know, using gouache in a basic way and on black paper. So I hope you see um, the rest of the videos, clips on the techniques and the tips that I give on gouache so that this demonstration is just much more worth it to you and makes more sense to you. Thank you so much for joining me here today.